Okay, guys, so more on Logic Pro X 10.4.2. Let's look at this one now. Smart Tempo can analyze tempo data across multi track recordings to define the project tempo. This is, uh, this is a good one, actually. It took me uh, about 10 minutes to figure it out. Um, check this out. It's really good. Sure. Here's a bunch of stems from a multi track session that I was given to mix recently. Let's drag them in. Bam, create new tracks. Now, notice importantly, I have not put them on the first beat of the bar. In fact, I'm going to move them back to the third bar because Logic will need to move these either back but possibly forward to align the downbeats of the entire set of multi-track stems so you don't want it right at the start okay so let's get rid of that first track we don't need it now so this is how it works it's quite clever this um we need to first select all the stems bring up the shortcut menu on any of them tempo create smart tempo multi-track set boom now, you're then presented with this list. It lists all the stems, right? And they're all ticked for contributes to analysis. You have the ability to remove an individual stem from contributing to the overall analysis if you like. And it says Smart Tempo will perform a combined analysis of files set to contributes to analysis, right? Whichever you've got ticked. The resulting tempo will be embedded in all files in the set. If all files in the Smart Tempo multitrack set do not have the same start position, some files will be bounced before the set is analysed. And it says regions need to be bounced. And these are all set to zero because all of my stems do begin exactly at the same point. OK. Now, I'm not sure what breakup set does yet. Oh, or perhaps that's if you've already done it and you want to break it up. I don't know. But anyway, let's do that again. Select all the stems. Bam. Create smart tempo multitrack set. They're all contributing to the analysis. Update. Now just wait. Obviously, it's having to analyse every single stem all the way through. Now, here's the clever bit. Choose any individual stem. Double click, open it in the editor and choose Smart Tempo. Analyzed, analyzed, analyzed. Choose the next one. Analyzed, analyzed. Choose the next one. Analyzed, etc. And uh, I have found that every single stem has been analyzed right on the money, putting the downbeat exactly right. But here's the clever bit. There's a list here now, right? Choose any of the stems to open this and go to Smart Tempo. There's a list over here now, which lists every stem, right? That was contributing to the analysis, I presume. Because I don't know if you deselect some of them from that contribution, they don't appear here. But there's all the stems. But notice at the end, there's one called Down Mix. Select it. And all the actual stems in the multi-track area are deselected, and now we see this down mix. And this is a sort of on-the-fly analysis of the entire set of stems that are contributing to the overall analysis. And we can check. It's on the money. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, fine. Whoops, fine. Okay. <coughs> so now with this, which and, and this down mix doesn't exist as a file here, right? None of these stems are selected, but with this down mix um, summary analysis of, of the whole lot selected in the editor here we go to the edit and we do apply a region tempo to project tempo 
because look, when, once you've done that analysis, nothing actually happens. Right? It doesn't automatically set the tempo or anything like that. It's still set at the default 120. This is on keep, doesn't really matter what that's on. We just go here, we get the down mix, edit, um, apply a region tempo to project tempo. Bam! Now this pops up and it says uh, this function applies the tempo of the selected region to the project tempo. It can also align the region to the downbeat. Align downbeat to nearest project down, downbeat, um, which is ticked. And all my regions start at exactly the same point, right? I'm not ticking maintain relative positions of all other regions because I'm using the, the down mix. Apply and oh it shifted the whole lot slightly forward hence i said leave some space at the beginning metronomes on let's get all these tracks just lower their volume right down so we can hear the metronome and here we go Now, bear in mind, your stems are going to still be completely in sync with each other because this technique, as I showed when I went through the tutorial showing you how it all worked when this was first released in the previous version, this technique doesn't in any way flex or adjust the timing of any of the stems. It simply analyzes all the stems that are contributing to the overall analysis, creates a down mix of the summary timing of all of those contributing stems, and then adjusts the tempo to fit. Right? So it might not sound super, 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 super tight on the money because it's you know, varying across bars. But the tempo, the click is now working to the multi-track stems. It's, um, it's just hap Now, in the first video I did, you know, I was a bit critical of Apple. Well, you didn't do that right, moan, moan, grumble, grumble, and I still maintain that. But this is absolute bloody genius. <laughs> this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, because let me tell you something. Um, I mixed about four tracks for this band, and one of them I did set the project tempo. Uh, and I had to do it by analysing the kick drum only stem, setting the project tempo, and then lining everything else up to the kick drum. This is just genius. It's so bloody fast. Do you see how quick I did that? And now everything, the click is in tempo to everything, but the audio multitrack stems haven't been shifted, moved, or any damn thing. They're still, they've still got the same looseness that the band played with. Let me turn that metronome down a bit, because it's actually a counting from the drummer, which you probably can't hear. There it is. Let's turn all these stems up. Can you hear that count from the drummer? That, uh, without me looking into this in any more depth, is um, how you do that. Yeah, that is Apple, 10 out of 10. 
Um, if you work regularly on stems, um, this is an absolute godsend to quickly get the project tempo clocked to the stems without in any way messing with the audio feel of how the musicians played. But then you have the tempo mapped, which allows you to clock things very easily, like effects, clock to bars, um, or to beats, or whatever. Um, it just makes everything so, so, so much easier <coughs> when you then go in and start to work on mixing and developing the project. So there you go, that's how you do that. Absolutely flipping brilliant. Let's move on.